Yeah, it was junior year. Yeah, it was junior year. Hey, Dick, your girlfriend just texted me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, know. I suck at texts. She tells me that. No, she just said, have fun tonight, boys. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's really working. And we're getting drunk. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, here we go. Is you stream working at all? Yeah. Weight loss program separates, but they can leave you feeling unsatisfied. Okay. Um. <laughs> little hood. Hood rich. It hurts a lot, a little bit. It works. No, we don't like curvage. Okay, they can't hear that. We can hear that. So let's go. You guys ready? Yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Berg's Eye View. Intro track provided by Bernard Purdy. The track is happening from the Laela original motion picture soundtrack on Late the Attic Records. It's Saturday. And I got the date messed up. I think it's the 18th of May. Am I correct? It's the 18th yeah. of May. Let's welcome a whole full studio for the first time in, in quite some time. Uh, let's just take it around. Kyle, why don't you start it off? K. Hurton, 412. I'm here. K. Hurton. So he's from the 412. I'm from the 74. Yeah, uh, 74 don't count. Uh, Hutch. Shell's here. Hutch is here. Hutch 3. Nick's also here. And off in the oh, distance, yeah. we have... Turk's here, too. Turk is in the building. Mm -hmm. Turk nasty. So we got a quite the uh, diverse crew. Uh, diverse. In, 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 in the in the studio, and that's uh, it was kind of a surprise to me, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a little while, so uh, we've uh, oh, we even got beverages in the house. And uh, Shell, you want to put your camera down a little bit? Maybe somebody can see you. Well, I can't see myself. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's, that's so. much better. So uh, welcome to the studio, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can uh, reach the show several different ways before we get into it. First, let me say, and I don't know who all this is going to affect. I know it's going to affect you, Hutch. But uh, it, it's been a while since we did a show, so I have to bring something that's a little old up. R.I.P. George Jones, man. Oh, George Jones. I mean, Tennessee whiskey, white lightning. You know, that, that's just something that... Uh, can you start somewhere where we understand? I don't understand. Nobody was talking to you, Shell. Just hold on. Okay. Uh, but rest in peace, George Jones. Hutch knows what I mean. I do. Everybody knows. Even Nick. You've heard it when I get I mean, a little too stupid. A big part the country of country music. Big part of our life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big part of our life growing up. And uh, wow, that, there it is. But anyway, uh, check the show out. BEV Gold is the way to go. Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com slash Berg's Eye View. iTunes. Email uh, Bergseyeview at gmail dot com, Twitter Bergseyeview, Hutch Unit, uh, Shell Renee. You guys got handles you want to throw out there? Uh, Shell Renee on Twitter at Hutch Unit. K Hurton four one two Twitter. Not on the Twitter game. You suck. Tur Turk nasty. <laughs> Nick lives in the uh, Stone Age. <laughs> I do Stone Age. Turk doesn't remember what it is. Oh, Probably at, at Turk nasty. <laughs> And, r and right now, uh, nasty 69. ladies and gentlemen, because we always uh, love your feedback, we're going to play a, a voicemail from Doug. Yay! Doug from Madison. Here you go. Who's playing music? It's Michelle. Am I? Can we, can we please? Uh, I know. Anyway, thanks, Doug from Madison. Oh, we appreciate that. that. Hey, there we, are. Uh, we love hearing from you, like too, and uh, take care of you every <laughs> chance we get. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, and something tells me we're probably not going to need too many of these shows. Can we please? Uh, okay. I think I think we're done with it. Michelle got a new uh, new computer. It's just gentlemen. it's lagging. That's all it is. And it's playing uh, something. Shit, we just said. That's what it was. <laughs> go ahead. We don't know. I don't know. Just turn the volume off it. <laughs> Okay. That's what I do. You just uh, you know I was up there. Oh, you guys off. familiar with the doorstop restaurant? No. I am. Oh, wait, I've been there yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It was Dormont. on. It was on the uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. It's a pretty good joint up on uh, Potomac Avenue. <clears throat> Why do I? Is that me? 
What? Can we turn like mute up? Anyway, take the little speaker thingy and mute it. So anyway, I'm up there and, and their their business is booming now. I have never seen a grill with four dudes side by side working a breakfast grill. Oh, they do. Four it. dudes side by side, man. They maybe each that, had their maybe own that's orders. We'll eat tomorrow morning. They had like their own little twelve inch segment of the grill that was theirs, and they were all like making stuff like what you had, Nick. Lean in there and and, and tell the nation the breakfast uh, special that you never heard of before, but you got to eat the other day. Never had it before. I had it this morning. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was a barbecued pulled pork omelet, cheese omelet. How good does that so sound? So good. What kind of cheese was on it? It was uh, I think it was just cheddar. That sounds it was good. Cheddar. Man. It was really I'm telling good. you. Was what? it like sweet baby rays, like pulled pork? Was it like barbecue? No, it was pork. like, it was like, was like homemade out of, out of the smoker, barbecue yeah. pork. It was good. Good stuff. That sounds good, man. I'm telling you. That's why I brought it on there right away. Now, we went on vacation recently. Now, let me tell you how stupid I was. <laughs> About four or five months ago, you know, I got a, I got a timeshare, and I decided to go on vacation. And I just, like, took the map and, like, pointed at Utah. And said, so let's go to Utah in April. In motherfucking April. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. Do you know how cold it is? And you went. <laughs> and I went to this place, Park City. Mitt Romney knows Park City well because it's where we held the Winter Olympics, ladies and gentlemen. I go there. How long ago <laughs> was that? Do you know? In April. Uh, the Winter Olympics. 2000 and uh, I don't remember. Uh, we'll say two. Was it 2002? I'm going with that. I don't think it was that no, long. I don't think it was that long ago. <laughs> no, you know what? I do. It might have been because that, yeah. the claim to fame was it was the first international uh, event that we sponsored after 9-11. Maybe. Yes. So, and that's why Mitt Romney got tagged. It was like failing. It was all blown up. It was all, there was all kinds of controversy. And they brought him in, the former uh, governor. To make sure that it worked because they were so afraid a businessman, that yeah. America was going to look bad after 9 11. And uh, let me tell you, it's cold out there. I'm, I'm not going to Utah. They got it, it looked very beautiful, though. Oh, in pictures and shit? Oh, yeah. In brochures and shit? Oh, yeah. But you get up there and you smoke like I do, you can't breathe, dude. It's like <laughs> 13,000 feet. Mm. You know what I mean? It, it, it's something else. I went to a, uh, it was pretty nice because I got to go to a distillery. The High West Distillery. Distillery. Yeah. And, and, like, they sold me on this whiskey. It was clear. It's called White Whiskey. Rye. You guys know how I like rye whiskey because of being from the Whiskey Rebellion area around here. And, yeah. And that's where pretty much Pittsburgh is where whiskey started in America anyway. And uh, they had this uh, silver white rye whiskey, OMG, it was called, right? And I'm like, man, you know, explain that to me because... I want to know. Well, there's rules with whiskey. For it to be called whiskey, it has to be put in a charred white oak barrel. Mm -hmm. So they have to, like, run a torch up and down the inside of this barrel, and then they throw the whiskey in there. Because everything that comes out of the still is clear. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get that color. It gets that color from the barrel. So they pour this wire whiskey into this barrel for 15 minutes. And, and then they put it back in the bottle, and it's white. It's clear, right? Uh -huh. So it doesn't get the color. Right. And I was telling them, you know, hey, I'm from, you know, two miles away from where the Whisker Rebellion happened, where they burned the dude tax guy's house down yeah. out in South Park. And the guy said, it's called whiskey, white whiskey OMG. OMG. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, this is two flights, a $1,000 flight away from here, west, in Utah, and he's telling me the OMG stands for Old Monongahela. And I was like, give me two bottles of that shit. <laughs> and it's the nastiest stuff you ever tasted. <laughs> but I was like, you know what I mean? That's, that's some history, you know? Yeah, no, way I out put there. That, put that up on the show. We're representing way out there. Yeah. OMG stands for, I, you know, of course, I thought it was, oh, my God, you know, yeah. but it's Old Monongahela. He told me that, and I was like, proud. Yeah. No, you know? that's cool, but I mean, it, I smell the dude. It smelled miserable. Like, it, if it's you drank nasty. it, if you, if you I had a hangover on that. I took one shot. Oh. He, uh, like, offered it to me, like, like two, three weeks ago. And I was like, I made the whiskey face. It's nasty. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's bad. I got a, I got a taste for it, though. Uh, and what was, what was worse than that is we got up there, and it was the first day we got there was the last day of ski season. 
and that place is all about skiing. I mean, so it's, you had nothing to do. No, we had, it was fun, but there was nobody else there. I mean, it was cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, in a way. Probably reminded it, you like The Shining. It was the first. <laughs> it was the first time that I was ever in a place that, that ever, it was real fun. The shower had a steam bath in it. That's cool. You'd be in your shower, which was like had a bench in it, and you push a button, and the steam started coming out of this thing, right? Yeah. And pretty soon it was full, and you were sweating. It was pretty cool. Uh, we got to check out the Olympics where they had the Olympics. So that, that's something too, boy. You go up there where the agony of defeat happens. Those high jumpers. Yeah. Oh, those guys got balls now. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's something else. Now, the, the the other thing that happened when we were up there, that I'm gonna get off this pretty quick, but it's a. I mean, it was a pretty good vacation. It happened the day when we got up there was the same day that Boston got bombed. Oh wow! And I was down in. The, they had a little store because you know I don't go to hotel. I go to luxury. I yeah. got kitchen and everything. And I'm down in the store checking out what they got for my kitchen, and there's a dude down there from Boston. Right? And he's making it very clear, you know, he's all loud and shit that he's from Boston. And I go back to the room after I bought whatever I was buying, and, and here comes this breaking story about the bombing in Boston, right? Uh -huh. I ran back down to the store. I was like, dude, man, you, you got to go watch television, man. You might know somebody. Yeah. And he, like, freaked out. And anyway, so the whole time I'm on vacation, I'm monitoring this, this Boston bombing. You know me. I got to pay attention. Oh, yeah. You probably had your laptop up. Oh, uh, it was. It was <laughs> we were on. Uh, but, uh... You gotta fly when you go somewhere like that, you know. I don't uh, know how much you guys fly. I mean, I fly anytime the military pays for it. I'm down. But oh, see, I had to pay for this one myself, and I'm I'm getting trip. ready to board a plane, and you know the 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 the, the seats on the on the jet are about that wide, uh -huh. and I'm walking behind this woman whose ass is about 17 times that wide, and I'm thinking, how in the fuck? <laughs> Is she going to mat? You know what I mean? I mean, they're only... She probably have to take up two seats. It's a, at least... I mean, you'd have to, like, remove the thing that separates the... Rest, the, the divider. I'm like, man... Do they actually remove? Like, no, I know... Lift. They lift. Do they? I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you like, push the button, they lift. But how'd you like to be the guy that's, like, Sitting selling the ticket? And be like, look like... like you might need uh, two seats. Ma'am. <laughs> you need two spots. Oh, I, I'd have no bones about it. I'd be like, look. You're huge. Our seats are this big. You're going to need two. Because we want to seat you comfortably. So we got a, <laughs> a we got a race for mayor going on in the city. What do you guys think about that? Man? What, Peduto? I'm and looking and, uh, at Peduto right now. It looks like Peduto. And, uh, now, a friend of mine's running. He, he knows he doesn't have a shot of winning. But uh, Joshua Wander's running uh, on the Republican side. Nobody even knows who he is. No. But, uh... So you got Jack Wagner and Bill Peduto, and they're like firing shots at each other. Did you see Raven uh, Ravenstall's commercially put up? Uh. -uh. It's caused a huge shit show. Peduto doesn't want to increase the elderly living in home Homewood, and so and so doesn't want to do this. And basically, it just caused the entire shit show. It was on the news not that long ago. <laughs> but Ravenstall had to get his two cents, and I love and then Raven whenever Stahl. news and then whenever the news went to We're confront Catholic. him, he wasn't in his office taking comments. Yeah. No, nowhere to be seen. He was. I'm gone. I'm you know aspect. he's smiling too, like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Catholic alum. <laughs> what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do when he gets out, though? What, the Ravensall? Yeah, does he have any skills? I mean, I don't know. He was the kicker. I mean, in, he was a kicker in Batman. Yeah, I mean, he was a kicker. He in was a Catholic. kicker in Batman. <laughs> okay. He was a kicker in high school. Yeah, that's why. He did I remember that. you guys. You guys don't know because you guys were focused on the game. But I used to go to the North Catholic games. I went to every one of them that I was here. I mean, I was overseas and I couldn't, but. Uh -huh. He used to show up, and he looked like a little kid. He'd come up there. He's he the mayor. He still looks like a kid. He's he the, yeah, but at least he has a suit now. He didn't the, have his, a suit back then. His dad was the head football coach. Yeah, and a judge. He still is. But he'd come up there, and he, he'd wear his like button-down <laughs> shirt, and it would be like unbuttoned, no tie. Shirt not tucked into the pants. It's casual and event. two dudes, yeah, but you're the mayor, man. There's yeah. never a casual event. He can do what he wants. Uh, well, he did, and, yeah. and he lost my respect immediately. Uh, he had two guys with him in jeans with holes in the knees and T-shirts. I mean, he's, I mean still, he's, like, he's a young cat. I mean, he, like, just graduated when we got there. He's the mayor of the city. Yeah. Even though it's not a big city, it's still... I mean, he was on national television with, like, Jay Leno and shit. I like Luke. You know? For sure. You do? You do? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've hung out with him. You know, a couple times. I mean, I like I've the guy. seen I've seen him at the casino with his like, still. I mean, his guards or whatever you want to call them. His posse. His posse. That's there you go. That's it. the word I was oh, looking for. Oh, you're a hater, but you'd hang out with him if he gave you the chance. Don't. 
I would. Oh, you totally would. Do you I think would. so? I would. I would. I mean, why not? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good, uh, yeah, no, because no, he left his wife and children. So, no, I would oh, not. Oh, here we go. But he was a kicker in Batman. And he was, he was kicker a kicker on North Catholic Trojans. Yeah. So, what is he doing for me? Fuck North Catholic. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> charter, <laughs> charter career connections. <laughs> Fuck it. I was looking for a career, goddammit. Hey, he is the reason why all these movies are being made in Pittsburgh. Though. He is he's not the yeah, reason. He, yeah, he, he lowered, he lowered he the is. taxes Thank for you. movies Pittsburgh to be made in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is the reason. No, no. He is no. not he the lowered, reason. No, he lowered he, the taxes. Lowered taxes right now, right now they're, in, they're, in they're constructing uh, the sound studio in, on Butler Street in Lawrenceville. Oh, yeah. uh, that's for bullshit. You think all these movies, they've been here. Jack Reed. Way that was before shown in Pittsburgh. Then. I mean, right. it, that helps, it helps. Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh been, has. I mean, not known, but Pittsburgh's always made movies. Uh, yeah, the, the last movie before The Dark Knight was the one starring Bruce Willis where you had a full set of hair. So Can you please <laughs> speak into the microphone? I'm on. I'm on. Here we go. This is me yeah, right here. Now, yeah, now. I'm looking get at off. the waveform. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a hater, and you're wrong, Michelle. All right, next topic. <laughs> okay. The taxes. Oh. Oh, right. off. I'm telling what was, you. What was that? Was, was that it milk money that was made in Pittsburgh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was it was that and that and like milk sudden and sudden impact money. with like I Bruce Willis wrong, or some shit. He had hair. I remember. Oh that. yeah, he had hair. Come yeah, on, that, Kyle, that, you gotta that get that all, microphone. Also, Mary Lemieux might have been a ver a rookie. So I mean, it was kind of a long time ago. Throwback Thursday. So how are you throwing Mario in it? I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying that. And now that we're on the now that we're on the topic of the city. What's you no, no, you're trying to make it about Mario. I'm saying that's when Mario was a rookie. Let's it's make been it about let's time. make it about the South Side. What? What what can you tell us? You guys have been on the South Side a couple times. Oh, it's a So there's been some uh, I don't remember changes. ever going to the South Side. So well, well yeah, you probably forget. Uh, I mean, but there was some times when you know, you're a lucky guy because you have a transportation network hater that is uh you know, pretty ingenious that, that a lot of us wish that we would have had. His mom picks us up. His mom <laughs> picks him up. Now, All right, so well, why don't you guys, like, you, elaborate you can, you on can, that? You can get mad at that, but I don't have a DUI. None of us have DUIs. No, that is. He's so good. If I was a kid, you know. We don't have to no, wait. I just want I'd you to. I'd walk home. We're never waiting <laughs> so hard. I'd walk home. He, he bitches at me if I can't ride him to the, to the pub down the street. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? I'm like, Dad, it's fucking a half a mile away. <laughs> you, know, you could you could technically walk there. Well, let's I'm hear about walking. it. Fuck well, that. On to the subject of Southside. Let south the side. listeners know. On to the subject of Southside. Back in the Southside, the bars used to get packed, like jam-packed. You walk with your arms under your side. If you so much as lift up, expect the fight. Yeah. If you say hi, expect the fight. Now they they started controlling the population of the bars oh, where the fire marshal actually comes into the bars, counts how many people are in that bar, and if you're so much as one person, for every person over you are over the limit of the it's like a fire safety, yeah. well, it's about $1,000 because my buddy Ron actually works. He's a bouncer up at uh, Rum Shakers. Crazy. Which, man, man, you Rum Shakers? Rum Shakers! Let's get a Rum Shakers tonight. Yeah, let's get in a fight with a bunch, bunch of <laughs> Come on, you gotta do better than that. Oh, all right. What do you want? I mean, you want you want to hear the the uh, shit we do in the south? Well, uh, I, mean, oh, I mean, I can move on. There's the Hofbra House. Oh, the Hofbra House, house is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Not not to be place you can go to. Oh, it's where great. You got you get about what nine dollars for a liter of beer. I'll take it. But homegrown listen, beer, that's the shit. But the Hopper House, not too many places you go. Homegrown to beer. It's, you can well, hear "Call Me Maybe" played by a polka band. Yeah. Hey there. By a polka band. All right. On an accordion. <laughs> Call this me is maybe. Crazy. <laughs> Call me maybe. I've, I've on an accordion. Got, I've been going to the South Side since I was like what, eighteen? Must be nice. Back and in the how day. have you not met my brother? You know, you know he lives funny? down there. I don't know. You know what we used to do? We Scooter. Used to we, before we were too old. They actually did meet one time. We weren't. We were too young. We used to just get drunk and then you go to go to Southside because there was girls walking everywhere. We just hit on drunk girls. There you and go. And we're like 16 years old. And baked, <laughs> baked beans are cheap I down there. The one time, <laughs> hey, hey, they, the one girl I decided to hit on happened to be a prostitute. Oh, All right. <laughs> and, and like, yeah. And she's like talking to me for a while, and she's like, "You do know what I do for a living? What's I'm the like, payout?" What? She's like, "Well, it's not legal." I'm like, "What? You sell drugs?" She's I like, you know, and, uh, yeah, and I'm like, really catching on really quick at first, <laughs> so you know, a couple beers in me, and yeah, she's a prostitute, so I hit on a prostitute. <laughs> nice. Did you steal the deal? <laughs> Doesn't sound like he did. Make, you well, woke up empty ass wallet, like, well, at least it's fun. Nick, give her his lunch money. <laughs> 
Well, I was supposed to buy my mom a Mother's Day present, but I guess you could have it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Nate lost his virginity. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's getting to be uh, like summertime, and, and it's getting warm out and everything. And We love it. You know, the ice cream truck's coming around. And, yes, they are. And I saw something with Hutch <laughs> and the ice cream truck the other day what? that blew my fucking mind. Last weekend. Hutch tried. This is no lie, ladies and gentlemen. I to was, pick I was up over. the truck lady? No. He, he, <laughs> he went up to the, the ice cream truck dude. Who's like one step above a crackhead? You know what I mean? He he like still owes on this 1975 van that he's driving around, and yeah. asked him. He tried to get some ice cream. Well, I guess he did order some, and tried to pay with a credit card. All right. Well, you uh, know, I didn't have anything at the time, and I'm like, <laughs> hey. And by the way, all right. Nowadays, you can plug a credit card swiper in your smartphone. Not in a motherfucking ice cream truck. You can't. Apparently not. Well, I I technically owed him money, so I had to pay him back. But I mean, he's asking everybody. Hey man, you got five dollars? I owe this ice cream dude five dollars, man. And you came through in a clutch. <laughs> yeah, Kyle you did. You owed him money. Yeah, because right. he tried to no, buy no, ice cream. No, no, because he gave me. He, he had was a like, push he, up. He, he, I, I had my uniform on. He's like, no, he's like, no, it's okay. Oh, he tried it's to like, play the. No, he was like, he was like, no, I'm, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, this is on me, blah blah blah. And I'm like, dude, I was like, I don't want to owe you money. He's like, no, it's cool, man. You could just, you know, have some ice cream. I was like, well, he's, he's making me buy it basically. <laughs> so I had to hit him up, but I mean, <laughs> so you're in debt. Well, not anymore. I bailed him out. I bailed. Them out yeah. five dollars. Yeah, yeah, I did. Don't hate, all right, Michelle. <laughs> I, had <laughs> tea, I, I had a tasty treat. Okay. Well, that shit good, good. Tasty so treat. Huh? I'm up in <laughs> Dorma. She just judges people. She just, <laughs> you don't like anybody. Oh, she doesn't even Cheryl. like herself. I know. She. It's, it's, it's all right. Get off of it. me. All right. <laughs> Hater, dude. Anyways, but yeah, he's a cool ice cream man. That happened. You know his name? <laughs> I mean, no, I don't know oh, his name. Oh, see, you don't he's even know his too. name. No, yeah, he's a b-boy. He's a b-boy to the fullest. You should have shook his uh, hand and up, said, B? thank you, mofo. Thank you. Why do I have to say mofo? <laughs> I wow. don't know. He's I kind of feel offended by that one. Upstanding citizen. Why? It's not... Oh, attended Michelle's to you at all. Shell. <laughs> I just have a new b-boy. Shell, why don't you roll the camera over on Kyle a little bit? I know, right? And, uh, no, I know, right? That's not, that's not but then I can't no, see this, me. The show gets a little too dark. Yeah, she me. does <laughs> want... I don't know if you'll show up in that camera. Oh, that's, 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 that's good. I know, it's a little that's dark nice. over here. That's good, man. Oh, Stop that. it. Oh, what happened? Saying, it's not that bright. And Michelle ruined the show. Oh, and it oh, shows see, over. Anyways. Yeah, right. He's out of here. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't sell baked beans, man. That'd have been tight. What the fuck? Kyle, I know that you have vast knowledge. Of things that go on in this crew of yours. All right, hold on, I'm working. Uh, so uh, she's trying to make it all technical. It's already good, man. It's, see, it's he, uh, he's trying to make you tell on us. Is that, 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 I'd like to hear I some things. Not. I mean, we were back in the BEV lounge uh, a couple minutes ago, and I mean, you were telling some some stories that. Why don't you talk about Here, what getting, Hutch did? It, Last it, it, weekend? No. Well, okay, <laughs> sure. Let's go there. All right. Well, Hutch commissions the second lieutenant. Congratulations, Congratulations, Hutch. Thank you. Congratulations. Graduate the same damn time. A little closer. Congratulations, Hutch. Thank you. Yeah, proud of job. you. Proud of you to Appreciate the fullest. As a best friend of 10 years, we're proud of you. Thanks, guys. Now. As, as your now. best friend, though, it is my duty to take <laughs> you out and make sure that you do not remember a damn thing about your graduation. Which I don't. I don't which, remember shit. Which me and his, his lovely girlfriend, Ashley. Oh, there you go. She's on a, she'll be on camera on the other, whatever. I just did. Okay. But me and Ashley took him out, All right, fed him a are. bunch of shots, and, well, end of the night, well, apparently I stumbled into a stop sign. Oh, hell yeah, you did. His shoulder still hurts, doesn't My it? My shoulder was just slumped the next morning, <laughs> but uh, Hutch gets up like, I'm leaving it fucked up, as he's, like, trying to catch his footing. But, <laughs> you know, we're discussing how we're going to build a sandcastle and live off of the beach of Florida from spring break. We're gonna. It's gonna be supported by sand, <laughs> seashells, and love. That, that, that is our fortitude. Of, that is our. That is our fortress of solitude, right there. <laughs> BFF, man. I Best hate my life. God damn. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we. That was cool. I mean, we. It, it was a good night. I'm actually nervous about tonight because now everybody's out and. Yeah, we have uh, I, I, Nick back from Hutch, Florida. Hutch, I would like to see. Yeah. I would like to hear your version uh, of sometimes things happen as we spoke about earlier uh, when there's you know beverages involved and you know things inadvertent things happen and you revealed uh, something earlier that just I mean it struck a nerve with all of us 
Uh, you puked. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't, don't bring that no, one up. No, I have to. You might as well tell it. No, this is classic. I'm just going to leave you the mic, oh, this, this, son. This is great. Yeah, it's hey. all you. Well, now the entire uh, audience is going to judge me, but uh, yeah, no, I... Uh, it's a judgeable thing. <sighs> all right, Come tell the please. story. Come on, please. Yeah, and then gonna, Jeff, gonna, John's going to have to get me more. I'm going to... He's going to quit bumming, and you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, so uh, what what happened was... You're such a gentleman. Tell your story. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. So Ladies you were in a hotel room at one no, point, right? No, it wasn't a hotel room. Uh, no. he, he was at a read-over. They were, I was, they were reading books. I was, <laughs> they were reading books. <laughs> so right at, right, many stories. Right after I'm just going to shut were, up they, when I'm over <laughs> here from now on. Yeah. <laughs> they were reading books right after, right after church. Anyway, and so uh, I'm at... <laughs> I'm at this broad's house, or this female's house. Uh, no, this broad's broad. house. So uh, I, I puke. I puke on the bed, and I'm just like, oh, here we go. I'm just like. I'm, I'm sure they know this was years ago. Oh, this is a long time ago. It was, I, it was like two weekends oh, ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so old. So, uh, so I'm at this, you know, I throw up in this girl's bed, and she's passed <laughs> out on the other side. And I'm just like, all right. I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, we got to make an executive decision here. I'm like, I what can, do I, I do? I, I, I can I can try to throw her off the bed, clean the sheets, I can wake her up, you know, t explain what happened, or I could be a legend. So I'm gonna go oh, with please. choice three. Oh, it's pretty funny. So uh, so you know, I'm I'm looking at her. I'm like, ah, she's probably really passed out. So I roll her over <laughs> next to the throw up, and I position myself on the other side. So when we wake up. I'm not getting blamed for that puke. <laughs> and uh <laughs> ay, 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 man. How, how did you position you even, her mouth? Yeah, you further enhanced the yeah. I I mean I just I made sure did her head was next. Did you sprinkle some on her? No, I didn't <laughs> sprinkle puke. I'm not a fucking yeah, I'm not he I'm not he didn't sprinkle, he white. <laughs> no, he didn't white, he sprinkled. <laughs> and and then he accepted her apology in the morning. I do remember this notion. <laughs> <laughs> you you if, if you're if you're somewhere out there Listening to the show, I'm so sorry. The, the, it was uh, it was me and oh Lord. my bad. We my my be chicken wings I did and puke wrong, and beer are all over you. Say goodbye. Hush. Oh, thank you. BV Gold, thank you very much, say ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Get yeah, BV yeah. Gold, you get the 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 finest scumbag, scumbag hutch. Video oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the last time I tell you guys anything. <laughs> hey, it's not no, it's shit not. up. It's all free. It's all free game. I couldn't. How do you forget something like that? I mean, it was just. Uh, oh, that is great. Yeah, she's gonna remember that too. I'm gonna get. A, I'm, I'm probably gonna get a text. <laughs> now, if you could, if you could swing that mic over and uh, maybe swing the camera back on Shell, but swing the mic over that Nick has the mic, uh, and maybe if you could swing that camera over that it, it, it hits Nick, that area that there is there okay. You get deep in that mic so you're touching that damn thing, I don't and let's. Uh, I th I think what. Uh, We'd really like to hear about is you had an encounter uh, with the washing machine. Oh, uh, what? A, all right, what a dick. all right. I got to <laughs> I mean, here. this is actually worse than Hutch's story because at least his was. All right, anyway. I yeah. thought it was classic, man, it because classic, ladies though. and gentlemen, everybody in the damn audience drinks. Yeah. If you don't drink, would you listen to this show? No. I mean, uh, I mean, right, maybe I there's know. a couple. So this is Super Bowl Forty, Steelers against the Seahawks. And I mean, XL, baby. Yeah. And I'm 23 now. So Get a little closer in there. So I'm not there. 23. 23 now. So do the math. And um, so we're drinking in this this guy's basement. And, you know, we had a good little Super Bowl party. And so. All dudes. At, yeah, all dudes. But hey, we had a hell of a good time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we did. We had a hell of a good time. But. Um, all dudes. So at the end of the game, Hutch is like, all right. At the end of the game, we're all going to shotgun three beers. It was four. And, you know, or four beers, I'm sorry. And so, you know, obviously I'm like, all right, I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, let's, so go let's, yeah, let's yeah, let's go Steelers. Let's do it. So the game ends, and we shotgun four beers in, I don't know, a minute and a half maybe. So about two seconds after we did these shotguns, I realized that was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> and the room's starting to spin, and there was a couch next to me. So I just collapsed on the couch. I'm like, ugh. So I wake up in the morning. It's about like 7, 8 a.m. in the morning, and I'm a little wet, <laughs> and uh, I wasn't really sure what happened to me, 
<laughs> and then I, I was like, oh, shit, I pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this couch is just drenched. Like, it's soaking wet. It's one of so, one and of I've never, I never, I don't even know this kid's house that we're sleeping at. It was like Hutch's friend that, like, went to a different school. And so I'm like, all right, I'm just wandering around this kid's house at, like, 7 a.m. looking for the looking for the, where the washing machine was so i finally found this, uh, this is, ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i want to pause here because this part here you have to put yourself in this position he's wandering he don't, around he don't know when the grandmother's coming home from church yep. looking for a it's, washing machine like so you I, think I found, you know you can work room. it i found the laundry room and there was no lock on the door so I just throw my laundry in there. I'm like, man, I really hope this kid's mom doesn't come wake up in the morning and see me butt naked doing laundry <laughs> in the laundry room. Oh, oh that's luckily a good I one, got man. off on that one. That's a good that would have been embarrassing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, what's that up? That could have got you put in jail or something. Man. <laughs> hey, my name's Nick. Hey, my name's yeah. Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just met this kid like last hey, night. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all yeah, did. That's, that's cool. It was it was one of those ones too. Like it was like our it wasn't like our first time drinking, but I mean it was close. Yeah. Like <laughs> we we didn't do it that much, and oh man, we it was a uh, Keystone Ice. All right, I'll never forget it because it's in black. You know, black. We had what two or three cases, and it's, it was maybe like eight of us guys. Oh, which is even worse. And, and we it killed was it all. Ice. Yeah, and oh. it, you know Keystone Ice has got a higher alcohol, so. Yeah, shotgun and four beers. You can imagine where we we're all at. So, Nick, uh, just for the sake of old times, uh, I'd like to get a Bloomfield update in here. Is there anything that you can provide on the neighborhood for the show? On short notice, I, mean, I know it's been honestly, I haven't been in Bloomfield. I just got back to Bloomfield today. I mean, so I've been, I've been up in Edinburgh, Steel, up Steel, in college. Steel City's not there anymore. Steel no, it's named, uh, what the hell is it? It's uh, North Hills Army Navy. No, it ain't. It's yes, something it else. It's North Hills Army. Oh, no, you mean that place that's yeah. that there now? It's like some African uh, yeah. dress store. We got like some Muslim place up here. You can get cow feet oh, on Brookline Boulevard. That's what now. I want to eat. Happy, yeah. happy, happy graduation. Here's a cow foot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get like all kind of shit like that. No, uh, so no, any, it, was, anybody it, was, got it was cool. I mean, it's, it's sort of relevant, not really towards Bloomfield, but, uh, since, you know, Steel City, I, I worked at Steel City for what, six years? Yeah. Like, six, is seven he, years. Is he still in business though? Well, listen, uh, we, we went, uh, when I did my commissioning and my graduation at Hiram, I actually Mark, the, the owner of, uh, you probably now that you North probably Hills don't Army Navy. that with this show too much. <laughs> it's fine. Anyways, he came up into, uh, you know, he came up to hire him yeah, you know, said. and congratulated me and everything. It was pretty cool, you know, just because you I've worked with him up. so long. He's, you know, seen me grow up from a kid to an adult now, and it's yeah. it was pretty cool, you know, him coming up and, uh, you know, giving his respects and everything. I mean, oh, good guy. Oh, here's a good one. So what, about, what about whenever you uh, used to call the X morning show? No, this is Hutch's story. <laughs> he, when you used to call the X morning show, this is a good one. Kyle's going to puke. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on now, right? So, I, back in the day when I worked at Steel City, uh, we listened to the X, and they have uh, a time where it was called Pick the Litter, and you could call in and, and basically, you know, like, oh, I request this song, blah, blah, blah. Right. And uh, they play, you know, your call on the air. Well, I was I got bored at work, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with Mark. So I Come would on, uh, I would I would call in and I'd be like, yeah, you know, this is Mark Borio <laughs> yeah. from Steel City Uniforms down Bloomfield. I want to play ah, Lover. I, I want to play Lover Boy. You know, always working on the weekend. Cause I'm working on the weekends. You know, I can't see my boyfriend Mark or uh, like my boyfriend Dave or some shit. We would just mess with him the entire time. And by the I want to say the fourth call, the guy just knew me. He's like, oh, it's Mark from the <laughs> Mark Boyer from Steel City Uniform. And it would play, and, like, the customers would be shopping and shit, and you'd hear it on the on the loudspeaker. And it'd be like, yeah, it's Mark Boreo, Steel City Uniforms. The guy's be like, oh, that's you. And you'd hear him, they'd be like, oh, dude, are you gay? Like, what about Mark's the, uh, like a big dude. Yeah, like, dude, he'd just so be, he'd be super red, just, just like, he's like, oh, guy. you guys think it's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> what about the guy, what about the guy that used to come in there, the crackhead guy? Oh, uh, Mike? <laughs> yeah, give us some. Pull your camera up a little bit. Take it up a little to the. Uh, yeah, we we had this guy, uh, Mike. He would come in. Oh, uh, he was he was classic. I wish you it, it, it was great. I mean, you'd have to be there, you know, to see this guy. But 
he come in and be like, hey, what's up, Hutz, man? What's going on, bro? And he'd come in and try to sell me bullshit that he stole. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Mike, dude, I don't, I, I, I don't want to buy any of your shit. Like, there's, it was nothing cool. Like, if if you wanted something electronic, dude, he'd bring you like an eight track player, like some <laughs> old shit that he thought was worth something. With the screwdriver marks where he pried it out. Oh, of the he, car. he tried to sell me a shirt one time, and he's like, he's like, man, he's like, it's got a little stain on it, but I mean, <laughs> you use some shout, you get it. I'm like, shout. He's like, yeah, get the fuck out! And I'm, so, I'm like, I'm like, Jesus Christ, Mike, like, get out of the, get out of here. What about you guys? Have you guys seen uh, Robo Pimp around? You remember him? Oh God, I talk to him every <laughs> once in a while. He's down in uh, uh, we got North Turk. Carolina. Shell, you want to put the camera on Mr. Turk there, I please? I can put the camera on Turk. I mean, you're slacking. You're over there, iPhone. I'm not slacking. Ladies no. and gentlemen, Turk needs a lady. Oh yes. <laughs> all right, hey. Now talk well, into well, the mic. Well, you got to show Turk. All right, all right. So it's a Robo Pimp, man, dude. We have. I, I mean, you, your cousins with him, so I mean, you see him all the time. I don't see him. I haven't seen Robo in a while, and uh, I'll tell you what. I, last time I did see him, my see man's harley out. Saw you. <laughs> he's harley out. Like yeah. he's got a Harley. Have you seen him, Turk? Yeah, him and his dad went down to uh, North Carolina for bike week. North Kakalaki. Yeah. They, they drove down, or they rode their bikes down there. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Wow, not for me. <laughs> I'd do it. No, I mean, Robo's always been a cool dude, though, man. Robo's a good guy. He, he still has that speech impediment. Does I mean, he? Yeah. How's that sound, Hutch? Tell, you know, tell, tell him about how he got his name. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, I got... You want to know something funny? What? Absolutely. Um, the other day, Ricky, before he went on That's vacation... That's Robo Pimp, ladies and gentlemen. Pimp. Ricky. Before he went on vacation, he called me. He was like, hey, man. He's like... I just applied for a job. You wouldn't know what it was. I was like, you're not d being a male prostitute, are you? <laughs> He's like, no, no, it's even better. It's something I'm good at. <laughs> it's something I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he, ap <laughs> he applied to do porn. Oh, no. Nice. And then he was asking me, like, what should his, um... Porn His name, name be <laughs> Robo and, Pimp, and that's the first thing I said. Please don't name yourself Robo Pimp. He's like, no, nah, man. He's like, no, me and man. Dennis, we're talking about it. He's like, I want something to do with like Dr. Seuss or something. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he, I don't know. Like, this is why we, this is why we love doing the show, ladies and gentlemen. I said, what, what the fuck's your um catchphrase going, catchphrase going to be? Green eggs and bam. <laughs> 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 and ladies and gentlemen, Susie ladies goes. and gentlemen, that will be the title of the evening show. <laughs> oh, can green you, eggs and bam. Can you imagine that shit? He's like, oh, 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 green eggs and bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. fucking hilarious. Hutch, Hutch, no, you, you can do the voice a little better. I mean, so right, why don't you? Do why don't you let the <laughs> let the audience know wow. where the whole Robo Pimp thing came from. Just tell that it's story. Kind of, it's kind of ironic because it kind of ties into that story, but when we, <laughs> when, when, when we were up. kids, we were like, we might have been like 12, 13, 14 years old, and uh, we're sitting on my stoop, and we're, yeah, we're just bullshitting. You were there, weren't you, Nick? Oh, uh, I was there for that. It was hilarious. So uh, we're hanging out, and he's like, he's like, man, he's like, Hutch, he's like, man, we should do porn. And I'm like, I'm like, what? These dudes are like 13. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah? He's like, he's like, yeah, man, he's like, I, I've been thinking about it. He's like, He's like, man, we'll do this porno. It's called Robo Pimp, and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, man, check it out. He's like, all right, we'll get a bunch of girls and we'll go to my house. He's like, what do you say? He goes, uh, he goes to be like back in time. Like I'm here to, I'm here to bang you. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'll be banging these girls. They're like, I am Robo Pimp. <laughs> And we, I mean, we kept it going. AJ was there. The too. dude had like a psycho dad. Like there was something. His, oh, his Carl. dad. His dad was oh. like, like. No, nah, it was he was he wasn't psycho. No, uh, Carl. <laughs> Car, no, no, Carl. He's a no bullshit type. He's a good dad. I mean, but there was like a situation though. where there was like. A, All right, do you want to hear the story? There, well, there was something yeah, he was when he was news. he was yeah he was like right. down in the he's with a, the he's, gun. He's a really nice guy. Camera. But like, so he's he's a really nice guy, but I mean you know some people. I mean he was like held up with the rifle and shit, right? Yeah, this is what happened. So he broke up with his with his girlfriend that he was th that he was together with for like it was my aunt uh, t Josh's aunt <laughs> and this was for not like ten Robo years Pimp's they were together mom what not Robo Pimp's mom no it was several women later yeah or at least one yeah but it's it his, wasn't his me it's his sister's mom but anyway 
My sister's mom? That'd be <laughs> no, my Ricky's mom. sister's. Oh. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, we're keeping it in the family. Let's go. So. <laughs> So, uh, all right. No. My my buddy, my buddy. That's uh, let's let's not let's not no. They're not going to put too much. Right. Hey, I just I that. just want to hear yeah, yeah. Hutch do Ricky's voice. Bring the saying, camera back. Saying green eggs and bambit. Dude, I I can't even imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, green eggs and bam. <laughs> Dude, I can't do it. Bam. Bam. <laughs> bam. <laughs> Dude, you know you know, bam. you know what's funny too is like I've seen a. Uh, there's this this porn star. He's called Nick Jennings. And he has a catchphrase every time he, he does. Yeah, it, it's funny because I can just imagine. Because you right? watch a lot of porn. <laughs> well, ton, <laughs> it appears that he does. No, it, it, does. All right, all right. it was an interview that all my buddies were Why like, "Why is you right in?" So you're interviewing for a porn job? <sighs> no, it's an interview that <laughs> Nick Jennings gave. All right, and he he was like he was talking. He was like, because every time he you know does his thing, he's just like, oh, dropping fucking loads like every oh, time. This is what my audience wants and, to hear. And he's <laughs> no. And no. he's like, he was, he was talking. He was like, he's like, man, he's like, I met this girl. She's so classy. He's like, I didn't even want to say that. He wanted to be. He's like, I wanted to clean it up, be a little bit more classy. Be like, oh, loads of dropping. And dude, I could just imagine Ricky now. Just now. What that's, would he say? Just green eggs and bam. Oh, <laughs> does that make you feel nice? You happy? I'm not sure where you went from start to finish. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, now Ricky well, is going to be up there with those gentlemen, and he's going to be Green Eggs and Bam. You know, you know what a lot of porn stars actually make their name? It's um, it's your first it's your first dog or your first animal and the street you lived on. Apparently. How do you know that? Apparently, oh, apparently. Champ Garnett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Champ Garnett. Mine would be Boomer Taylor, which would be <laughs> which would be a pretty good one. All right, all right. So say it again. What would it be? The it would be your your first dog in the first street you lived on. Oh, Sassy dude. Beach. Sassy Beach. Like <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> Mikey Kelvin. Mikey like my Kelvin. Baron. <laughs> Baron St. James. Oh, uh, yours is like. <laughs> what is yours? I, my street was like a number, so it'd be... Like, oh, come, oh come, on. come on! Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 41st Street. All right, well, use the one where you live in Bloomfield. No, he said, Cole 41. <laughs> <laughs> Cole 45. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what, what was that street you lived on in Bloomfield? South Melville. I like right, Sassy right. Beach. What was, your, what, was, what was your first pet's name? Angel. Angel, angel? angel <laughs> South Millville. The angel. The angel of South That's Millville. The angel of South Millville. <laughs> <laughs> and, la and ladies and gentlemen, Kurt oh needs gosh. a lady still. And his current dog's name is Princess. <laughs> Princess. I didn't name, I wanted her name, her name to be Killer, so. You do that. I, I, I'm killer and a I, I, I might have to. I might just have okay, to start shall, going out and shall tell people. Move the camera Champ back Garnett. to you. Champ Champ okay, dear. Move the camera back to you and let's talk about. Uh, let's see if you brought anything to the show because you do uh, a very good uh, service for the community oh, and okay. and and you have a chance to like hear some funny shit in the OR. And I just wonder if you can. I don't uh, know if I'm you have nothing. We, we, the last time you've been on the show was like six months ago. You've been working six months. I know. It's been a while. Uh, sure like, I've, <laughs> like, I see vagina and pussy and... <laughs> see, that's go. the same thing, but we're and not. And I, I see <laughs> penises <laughs> and see, like, everything <laughs> else. And, but... And then, cool. you got, and then you guys, like, talk about tattoos and shit. Like, I see the hidden tattoos. Dicks. <laughs> yeah. But I like I talked about that on one show. You did. But the one like we all right, so we're undraping our and like like bold print, like the font, what would you say? It'd be like twenty five. Like Ariel Bold. Yeah, like bold. Yeah. Like right above her, um like not chicken wing things or nothing. Slut. Like yeah, no, awesome. but could you picture it? Like right above we're taking the drafts off, we're gonna operate and all you see is Chad. <laughs> like, damn, dude. Like, <laughs> you made like, an impression, my yeah, man. Yeah, like, obviously, like, huge print, like, right there. I'm like, all right, whatever, lady. Piece of property. And then... You are mine. And then... So <laughs> Chad's. I've Blue seen... Chad. Um, Chad rocks. Where but they have... Our, our, See We're people. listening. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. And then another girl, like, in between her legs and her inner thighs, she has little thigh... Or Flies. Flies? Oh, flies. That's nasty. Why, nasty. Get butterflies? Like, that why is would nasty. you do that? That is disgusting. Maybe it smells. Now you have a warning. <laughs> <laughs> why would you want flies that tattooed 
in between your legs. Some people can't afford Vagisil. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that now is... Now you know. They call her shit Ooh. Oscar. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you have more. Yeah, I do that. Shut up. It's been a long time. <laughs> 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 and then we're, what? we're shooting for some Shell Bonics, ladies and um, gentlemen. Shell, well, we haven't had any yet. You've been doing good. No, I've been doing all right. And then we have another case that um, a woman was up in stirrups. And, and oh so, boy! So I'm praising myself here. Um, and then she just started shooting out of her ass. Wait, she was what? Sorry, shooting what out of her ass? Poop. 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 That's yeah. nasty. Anal Projectile shat. Anal leakage. <laughs> anal leakage. Now that it's leakage, and then you have. Splattery. Now my show has gone to a completely different level. This is your fault. Is it just like a it, Hershey it's River? It's starting to stink in here. But. I'm so good at my job. But, you know, yeah, it's all about the bucket. No, can the we get you, um, I'm Go gonna, I'm going to establish this. Sure. I'm so good at my job. The doctor was like, I'm just going to cover it up. I said, hell no. We're, we're redraping. We're recleaning. We're all regowning. We're well, see, all regloving. Shell's in charge of the OR. I mean, she's like the, there's a doctor in there and nurses and shit. Right. But it's Shell's OR. Right. No, you know, like the equipment and the yeah. No, you're correct. And my job is to take care of the patient, make sure right. everything's okay. Like she makes sure that they don't leave scalpels and shit in the stomach. Wonder Absolutely. if I ever shit while I'm sleeping. You probably do. Did when it hit the ceiling? Rain. You threw up when you were sleeping. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> oh man, what do I do with you people? Correct yourself. Um, <laughs> get so, right. So, uh, as this woman's like <laughs> shooting poop. Out of her ass. The Where doctor's like, I'm just going to cover it up. I'm like, no. We're redraping. We're doing all this. Da, da, da. But, the, okay, so we. Uh, yeah, da, da, da. So we cleaned up. Everything was fine. But the thing was, I did my job so good that the nurse anesthetist went to my boss and said, look, she was very professional. She took charge, and they listened to her. And the patient is safe from infection because of her. Ladies and gentlemen, a, a, a hand for shell. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna say, and then even like, even he like looked at me. I'm like, I'm just doing my job. But you wiped the fuck out of that ass. <laughs> she wiped the shit. I mean, yeah. She took no. shit to another level. Sup? I said, doctor. I wiped you, you so you. hard. I said, fuck you. I wiped We're you so doing hard. it my way. I wiped you so hard. You need like some cream. Oh man. Oh. Anyway, so that's my OR. <laughs> my OR. Right. You know what pisses me off? So we have Chad. Oh, we're not done yet? <laughs> no, we're good. good. No, we're no. good. Go with Chad. No, uh, we're good. No, we, the, the people want to hear about Chad. What's your boyfriend's name? Chad. Chad. Chad, Chad, is, Chad. Dude, her Chad was right up above her vagina. I her mean, Chad was right up above her vagina. <laughs> How would you like to be like her new boyfriend? We was, we like, I know. You know. It's just like, well, you know, <laughs> my name's Chad. My Aaron. What about the bitch with the flies? Yeah. <laughs> You know, Stank. It's like <laughs> you gotta get the rubber gloves. It's like, dude, you 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 have flies going down there. I don't know what I want to. You want to get married? Dude, like, now, yeah. now, what pisses me off? What pisses me off? We have to have the this segment. You know, I don't know what it is about Pittsburgh, but there's a thing that I've discovered lately. It's called the Pittsburgh green light. And I swear to God, these motherfuckers. I'll be in line at a red light. You know, at one of them time-sensitive red lights, like when you got to take a right turn or a left turn or something, and I'll be six, seven cars back, and the dude in the front will apply the Pittsburgh green light. Now, I don't know if you guys know what the Pittsburgh green light is, but it pisses me off. The Pittsburgh green light is, if you learn to drive in Pittsburgh, I think, I think some of these people have learned the rule that when you're the first guy and the light turns green, you have to sit there and go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, yeah. before you go. No. Have you guys met these people? Uh, I mean, yeah, you just fucking beep at them. The Pittsburgh, hard. I mean, it's like it happens to me all the time anymore. I'm like, what's up, these people? Do you think Dude, that's... If you're, if you're driving in Pittsburgh and you don't have road rage, you're probably a bad driver. You're probably you're right. the one that's fucking up. Yeah. I don't get mad, no, but... Know, 
I get behind this I motherfucker kinda like every Chili. time. All right, it's kind of funny. I, I, something kind of like that happened to me yesterday. And uh, I was driving, I, and I'm at one of those intersections where there's like a shopping mall and stuff. So, <laughs> so I like, and people grid, you know, you gotta watch the people gridlock. And yeah. I'm like, first person came up, I was like, I was like, you better move, better move. <laughs> and then some other lady just did it, you know, like tried to like act like I didn't see her, just gridlock. But there was a way that I could get out. So I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, waiting for my light to turn green. Just beep, fucking idiot. Just <laughs> you are stupid. Just we're just pointing at her because Cordy's in the car with me. We're just pointing at her. This girl is just mortified. She's just like, I'm so stupid. <laughs> She's like, oh, See, man, I don't get, I'll never gridlock again. I'm sorry, God. I don't like, get <laughs> I don't get mad when I'm in the car because I got a pistol right next to me. If I get mad, I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen. So I I don't get mad, but I know this shit. And it's just like that Pittsburgh green light thing got to go. Well, the only mad, thing worse is yourself. bikers. Yeah, I mean, you you know, and I'm not going to pull a pistol out when somebody's going to be like, you, mom. You know, I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm going to yell at her a little bit. But, I mean, like, you got to be like a Dude certain type of asshole. I do rip me off uh, on a parking spot in, in CVS. Oh, no, I don't like And then he started it. woofing, and I told Nick was in the car with me, right? I'm like, Nick, this motherfucker don't know. I got a pistol right now, right here. I got 15 rounds. I'm going to knock this motherfucker down. <laughs> you know, it's like, why doesn't he shut up? I mean, Wait, he was yelling at you? Yeah. He was oh, what did you to, say back? Oh, I jumped him. But Oh, yeah. I'd have been <laughs> but it's like, you know, the other thing I found out, I, I was down, uh, this park down there, where we, Brookline Memorial Field. Yeah. I'm down there. Here's what the geniuses in the city did. You know, now, parking's tight down there. Oh, yeah. Right? It's tight. It's a lot of what, shit going because on. Because we love baseball. Baseball is the biggest thing in Brookline. It's bigger than football. Hate Brooke, or I hate baseball. Oh, we don't, man. I, I love Little League. Right, I love going, watching yeah. the softball and all that shit. We go down there. Whole community's down there. You know everybody. They got a big... I mean, it's even better than Bloomfield. That's one of the reasons I like Bloomfield, because they had the uh, snack bar down there at Dean's Field, yeah. which they fucked Dean and named it after somebody else, because the cop got killed. They should have never done that. They should have named a bridge after him or something. They should have named something else after him. They shouldn't have took it away. Anyway, we all get you know into it down here. So what they did, they realized that parking was tough, and there was like 150 parking spots. So they made 200 parking spots. But you know how they did it? Dude, I went down there, and I'm, like, trying to park, and there's, like, empty spots as you go up. And I'm thinking, after, like, the fifth empty spot, I'm like, these idiots in Pittsburgh can't park. Mm -hmm. But then I finally pulled into a slot. They narrowed the fucking parking spots. <laughs> they made them narrow on, on both sides of me. I had to, like, back up three times. And I had an inch on both sides when I was perfectly centered in the parking spot. That's ridiculous. <coughs> I'm like, they added 50 parking spots, but didn't add no land. <laughs> it's like, what's up with these geniuses, man? That's ridiculous. A that's a true story, too, man. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Happened to me yesterday, man. I was like, jeez, oh, man. I got one more thing, then we're going to talk it on out of here. Yeah. I got Can I just say something? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, let me put the well, camera. I think, I think it's funny because I, I listened to a comedian that's from Pittsburgh, and he talks about swearing and his young kid, like, There's hearing some funny it. shit going on in the bar. I don't Aren't know what it is. Can I? Yeah, go ahead, Sean. Sorry. Anyway, so he's driving, and he's, like, pissed off at this driver, and then all he hears in the background from his young kid was, is that guy an asshole, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you're damn right, son. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. That was hilarious, Joe. <laughs> yeah. There you I go, Joe. Yeah, I know. Joe, did you find a dollar? That's me. Well, I'm sorry. So, I got this rule. Edit that out. I got, <laughs> we edit nothing out. I got this rule. It's called the Hutch Ketchup Rule. And I swear this happens to me every time. Anytime I'm eating, I don't know if this happens to any of you guys. If I put ketchup on something, at some point during the eating of whatever I put the ketchup on, at least one little part of the ketchup is going to be on me. Yeah. Is that anybody else got that? All the time. Same I mean, especially with a white T-shirt. It's like it, it might touch my finger or my face. It's it's, it's going because we love ketchup in Pittsburgh. I mean, we just do. Yeah. Well, Heinz is right there, so you know. So anyway, let's catch up. Let's go around the room, and we'll wrap this up. If anybody <laughs> has any closing comments or anything like that, uh, start with Turk. Let's let's go over to the Turk show. Why don't you swing that camera? Okay, we'll yeah, I got it. camera. Go ahead. I'll do it. Now you got two cameras, bro. Oh, yeah. oh, Pressure's on. Right Turk, my man. Ain't been around in a while. Let t take it to the folks. 
Thousands of folks, brother. Take it to them. Green eggs and bam. <laughs> <laughs> My man, he did good. Shell? Um, oh, shit. I don't have shit. No, <laughs> no you clean because you clean that shit up. <laughs> I do. Straight I do up. clean the shit up. All right, take it over to Hutch. Don't puke later. around me. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's good to be back. Glad to have you back. It's going to it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a long summer. It's going to be a good, gonna be a good one. Good it's going to be a good one. Swing it over to Nick and the microphone. If you pee on your buddy's couch, make sure you <laughs> leave before he wakes up. Now, Kyle, you're going to have to get up over there. Kyle Hurton, K Hurton 412 on Twitter. Can we get the camera over there? K Hurton 412 on Twitter. Just want to say from the bottom of my heart, congratulations, Hutch. Yeah, I Worked agree. your ass yeah, off. Absolutely, congratulations, Hutch. I remember Hutch. back, in it, back when you first job. started. When you first started, it was nothing but oodles and noodles and PB&J. Nice. <laughs> fucking right, son. Started from the bottom, now you're here. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for letting us into your life for an hour. And uh, that's going to about wrap it up. See you next time. All right, Ralph. Let's get drunk.